Whenever I post a video in regards to any broker or when I place uh, videos when it comes to my latest trades and so on, in regards to any broker, the first question that comes along is always, Chris, are we trolls uh, trusted or can we trust which roles with this specific broker and in this specific video we're gonna talk about that in regards to pocket option since today I made my latest which role with them and we're gonna go through the previous which roles that I've been making with this specific broker and determine if it's good or not and more importantly I'm going to give you some extra tips so that you can avoid any which role issues with this broker Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the which roles with pocket option, but he, if you're new in my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification for every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the video. I want to start this video with a question that I know will come along because you guys are used to the fact that I always grow my account to like thirty, fifty thousand dollars and then I make big withdrawals. But this time there is a smaller withdrawal in my account. And the reason why I actually did this is because I have been using a pocket option for like six or eight months just using the BLW Turbo Strategy app. If in case you're not familiar with what is the BLW Turbo Strategy app, go to blwturbostrategy.com and the link is in the description and you will be able to find this application that I've been using to raise my money into my pocket option account. But uh, since I've been testing it for so long and I already proved that it is a working strategy app, then I decided to make a withdrawal and start using pocket option for different purposes, which I'm going to cover later on in this specific video. Right now, let's go ahead and jump and see our uh, my latest withdrawal of today. This is the withdrawal that I was able to make last uh, 2020 on uh, November was when I did this withdrawal. It was for $30,833.29. I did it through Bitcoin. And the reason why I did it through Bitcoin, not only is because I love the actual currency, but also because that's the best method that I have for withdrawals when it comes to my actual broker. It's fast. It works within one hour. You get the withdrawal and so on. So it's absolutely the best option that I have available and that's the reason why I actually got it. And today I actually placed a new withdrawal that is actually for $12,930.30. There's a reason why I actually jumped into this amount. I actually won just $12,900. I need to uh, pay a trip that I'm going into Mexico next month. So I wanted to actually have you know some extra cash to expend, uh, like spend in there and so on. But I wanted to let uh, to leave at least a thousand dollars into my account. So that's the reason why I actually withdraw this X amount. And more importantly, uh, this is, has been already completed into one of my wallets. Uh, if you guys are wondering what wallet I use, I use either transcript.eu or BitPay. Those are the only two wallets that I use. Uh, the majority of people use Coinbase, for instance, but it's not available with the best features in my location. So that's the reason why I don't use it. But these are my wallets and these are super, super trusted. At least they have been working really good for me. Okay. Now these are my latest witch rolls. Now the witch roll method, again, the reason why I'm actually using this witch roll method on Bitcoin is simply, and this is one of the reasons why I don't use IQ option strongly anymore because the witch roll methods are not for Bitcoin and the wire transfer take longer. And uh, more importantly, the Skrill and Neteller, I don't really recommend them. Um, some people ask me, hey, why is it that you don't trust Nutella? I recommend you to look for Skrill Scam BLW and you will be able to find a video where I explain to you what it was the scam that I was victim of with these specific wallets and more importantly, telling you to stay away from it, right? 
but if you can use them and they work for you, that's actually really good. I'm happy for you. But in my personal case, I use Bitcoin, not only because it's a currency that always gives me profit, and more importantly, I know when to actually withdraw the money. As a matter of fact, I was looking at, at my charts yesterday and I sold some Bitcoin at around, oh, I transferred it into a wallet around uh, 50, $3,000 and then I sold it for like 57,000. So I made like a $4,000 profit in no time. I also predicted this movement. And since I know how Bitcoin actually is behaving, I do prefer that uh, to have Bitcoin withdrawals into my account. This is just my personal opinion. It doesn't mean that that's the way you're supposed to do it as well, but it's just what I like to do. Now, I wanna give you a few tips in order to avoid any issues whatsoever when it comes to withdrawal. And the tip number one is to always comply with the paperwork before you start trading with real money. This paperwork is usually a photo issued ID by the government, such as the passport, your driver's license, or your ID card from your country, which is sometimes not accepted. So it's better that you actually have your passport or your driver's license. Second of all is the utility bill that actually comes with your name and the address that you entered at the moment that you opened your broker account. Some people actually uh, give the electricity bill, but it's not under your name because you're renting an apartment or a house. And unfortunately, that's not going to be accepted. It has to have, it has to have your name and also the address that you entered, okay? So you can use your cell phone bill, your internet bill, whatever it has your name and your address on it. And sometimes they also ask you for a bank statement just to make sure that you're not using fake information. It's completely normal if they ask you more paperwork, it's just to make sure that you're not actually a fake person and it goes with their KYC compliance requirements and this is by law, okay? It's not something, uh, someone asked me the other day, hey Chris, can I trade even if I don't have any documents? You can trade, but you can't really withdraw, okay? So if you wanna avoid those issues, make sure that you actually comply with those paperwork. And number two thing is don't use any unauthorized robot or algorithm into, into it. I've seen a lot of programmers using some sort of algorithm in order to trade automatically using brokers by the back end of the broker and that's not allowed sometimes, depending on the broker, of course, and they end up getting their account blocked. And number three tip is that when you get a bonus, make sure that you don't actually, uh, that you read the terms and conditions before you actually uh, accept it. Cause sometimes you do need to trade a lot before you make the first withdrawal and so on. So according to those tips, make sure that you comply with them and you're gonna be good to go. Now, what's going to happen with pocket option now that uh, you know I already made the withdrawal and I'm not going to be trading using the BLW Turbo app. Basically what's going to happen though is that I'm going to be testing a few strategies uh, in order to make money with it. And more importantly, uh, we're gonna try to grow this account faster than usual, okay? Meaning we're gonna be trading with 10% of our balance on each specific trade, trying to find more aggressive strategies that I know you guys love. So therefore, you should stay away, uh, you, should stay, you should stay aware of my videos on my YouTube channel and be subscribed because I'm going to be revealing some new strategies for binary options on the following videos. I'm actually starting a recording a video after I record this one with a brand new strategy strategy, so make sure that you're part of it and hopefully you can enjoy them and make money with them. So hey, I hope you really enjoyed the content of this video. And if you did, smash the like button to support this YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments to share, make sure that you actually leave them in the comment section below and I'll be glad to take a look at them as usual as fast as, as, fast as I can. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you wanna see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you on the next one.